how we can not only implement activities in the home, it's how we can take them out into the community and do things that we wouldn't think twice about doing, but you think somebody with dementia, oh, oh they better not. It helps as well because when we come to the workshops, we're amongst other people from other homes as well and they give a lot of input and sharing ideas. Whereas like, if we were just like, back at, at our home, we wouldn't have that, we're like, on our own. We work as carers, but we're also activities as well, and I think that makes a big difference because we can take that back and we can implement that back at the home and the other care staff will get involved in the activities as well. So it's introducing new things as well, letting the, the residents express themselves through, through music and through, some of them draw with the time, time slips, it's not always telling us a story, they'll draw us pictures, so they're expressing themselves in a lot of like, different ways to what they would, like, to what we used to. I know how to, with music, I, obviously I'm involved in a lot more music therapy at work, a lot more visual aids at work. Um, instead of just going in and thinking, you know, they can all do the same thing, well, they can't. Everybody's different in, in the home. So I'll, I do a lot more one-on-one -on -one now. You know, what I've been learning from these, from these classes, I take away, I go back. I don't feel embarrassed. And they're enjoying, they're enjoying what I'm doing. It's really good. Just about the time when I was appointed an activities coordinator, I got a phone call from Nicole Roberts asking if they could come and meet me um, to talk about creativity matters. And that was the turning point for Oakdale Lodge. We had a meeting, asked if we'd be willing to be involved, if I could get staff involved. It was to introduce music into Oakdale, and as you all know, a lot of these parties they did in your homes, playing the ukulele, talking about music, engaging. And we had an amazing 12 weeks. You could see things starting to turn around. The staff were happier, the residents were happier, families were getting involved, and it really had a positive impact on Oakdale. And the comments were coming through from families, you know, how good Oakdale was. At the beginning of the year, I was getting inquiries about beds, etc. Um, and when you ask, how did you hear about us? It's usually, or it always was, or oh, the social worker gave me a list. Increasingly now, it's about, we've heard about Oakdale. So then Alice rang me to say we'd be, be involved in a research project um, with Newcastle University in Equal Arts with two visual artists. Didn't have any idea what visual art well, what it was going to be about, but again, because of the impact it had, we were keen. As a home manager, I know, because I've witnessed it over the last year, there's not enough hours in the day. We've had two weeks and the impact it's had on residents and staff has been amazing. I just can't tell you what it's like. For managers, the payback, happy residents, who it affects their health and well-being dramatically, happy families who are now starting to get involved, and they're always in Oakdale now asking if they can do things to help. I've now got two people applying for volunteering, and I've got a waiting list of eight. And we've got a full page right in the care industry news. So that was great for the staff. Sickness has gone down dramatically. I've got all my nurses in place now, and everybody that's involved in equal arts ranges from the maintenance man to the domestics to the kitchen staff. It's not just about the activities coordinator. I think that is a really isolating job, but everybody in Oakdale now realises that activities is the biggest part of getting them right in Oakdale. You know, we do all the clinical interventions you like, but at the end of the day, we've got to make sure that we stimulate and give them quality life. And it works. Try it. Invest the time, you're not regretted.